Welcome to Royal News Updates. OMG. Charles rushed towards hospital, Green Consort Health fears Palace, no sign of improvement at all. Before we start, please, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon, thanks. Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, has sparked health concerns after pulling out of a planned visit. Camilla will no longer head to the ongoing Cheltenham Festival today. The Duchess of Cornwall, who is a keen fan of horse racing, was due to present the trophy to the winners of the Queen Mother Champion Chase. It is understood the Duchess is trying to pace herself after healing from a bout of COVID-19 she contracted last month. Reporting Camilla's decision to cancel her attendance from the beloved horse racing festival, the Daily Express royal correspondent, Richard Palmer, wrote on Twitter, the Duchess of Cornwall had been due to attend the Cheltenham Festival today but she has pulled out. It's understood she is trying to pace herself as she recovers from the bout of COVID-19 she had last month. She had looked as if she was struggling at an engagement yesterday. On Tuesday, the Duchess accompanied her husband Prince Charles to the Irish Cultural Centre in Hammersmith, West London. The royal visit marked the centre's 25th anniversary and saw Charles and Camilla being involved in a few cheerful activities. Joining a band playing Irish music, the couple were shown how to play the traditional Boran drum. Prince Charles was also given a crash course on how to pour the perfect pint of Guinness. However, his attempts left the Duchess in stitches. After the Prince of Wales took a sip of the stout he had pulled for himself, Camilla was spotted lovingly telling him he had some froth on his nose. The pair then watched together dancers performing traditional dances and unveiled a plaque marking their passage. In the afternoon, the Prince of Wales and Camilla returned to Clarence House to hold an audience with Canada's Governor-General, Mary Simon, and her husband with Fraser. Ms. Simon and her husband also met the Queen at Windsor Castle. The Daily Mail royal editor, Rebecca English, also spoke about Camilla's health concerns. She tweeted, She has been coughing a bit on recent engagements, I've noticed, and has said several times that she is struggling to entirely shake it off. Camilla mentioned she was experiencing lingering COVID symptoms during a meeting she hosted at Clarence House to mark International Women's Day. While meeting record-breaking Rose Cat Cordoner, Abby Johnston, and Charlotte Irving, the Duchess mentioned her health. She said, it's taken three weeks and still can't get shot of it. Probably my voice might suddenly go and I might start coughing and spluttering. News the Duchess will not head to Cheltenham sparked a wave of support among royal fans, with one, Toria, writing on Twitter, hope she makes a full recovery. Another, Eliza, said, sending well wishes to Camilla X. It's a huge year ahead they all need to take it easy, pace themselves and spread the workload. And Lady Glencora wrote, I do hope the Duchess of Cornwall feels better soon. On Monday, Camilla joined Prince Charles, Princess Alexandra and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge at Westminster Abbey. The five senior royals attended together the multi-faith service to mark Commonwealth Day. As announced on Friday, the Queen did not attend the event, and was represented by her firstborn and heir. Nevertheless, the Sovereign released her yearly Commonwealth Day address, in which she renewed the pledge she made aged 21 to dedicate her whole life to the service of the UK and the Commonwealth. Thanks for watching, please, share your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe to Thanks. our channel.